Welcome back to the channel, everybody. In this one, I'm gonna be going over my Cranston Card Show pickups. Everything you see here is what I was able to get at the local show here in Cranston, Rhode Island. I'm very excited to get into it. If you haven't seen my Rich Altman's Boston Show pickups, I'll leave a card for it right here for you to go view, whether you wanna watch it before or after this one. But since you're here, let me push all this stuff aside and let's get into this one. Uh, put that over there. All right, here we go. Trey Lance, Donruss Elite. Trey Lance, Origins Rookie, very nice. Nothing numbered, nothing special, but it's very nice. Justin Fields, Illusions. Shining Stars, Justin Fields. I went on a big quarterback binge, and I'll tell you why in a few moments. Clear shots. I love this air, airborne Justin Fields right here. Not numbered, but I do believe it is short printed. You can correct me if I'm wrong. That's a beautiful card out of Rookies and Stars. Tra Justin Fields, Base Origins. Another Trey Lance, Illusions. I got these cards a little mixed up, so I do apologize. Javante Williams. Stardust Javante Williams, very nice. Gonna have a very massive second season. We got a Jerry Judy here out of 149. Look at that, 148 out of 149. Look at that, I think he's gonna pop off. I know it's not a rookie, but still a very nice card. Justin Jefferson, select. So, uh, yes, select. I don't know why I hesitated on that. Justin Fields, very nice here. Very, look at so, how so dark it is. You can, you know, barely see the you know, the picture in the background. Then here is Justin Fields again, again. And we're moving into Zach Wilson here, base origins. So the reason why I picked up a bunch of this year's rookies, and I would strongly suggest you do the same, and I could make a top five video about this if I'm being honest, but probably all five quarterbacks from this draft class, or this most recent draft class, I should say, would probably make that list because there's a bunch of Trey Lance illusions right here. And I say that because this draft coming up, you have Kenny Pickett, Malik Willis, Sam Howell. Like these are good young kids that may have really good investment potential moving forward. But right now, as it stands, I'm not a big fan of any of them, to be honest. I project three of them going in the first round. Nice shining stars, Trey Lance. Make that two. But I honestly don't think any of them should go in the first round, but a team is going to jump and take them. Two clear shot lances. But think of all the football products that we have purchased and ripped this year, basically chasing Mac Jones, Justin Fields, Trevor Lawrence, Wilson, or Lancer, whoever it may be. Nice mystique right here. And we're all chasing for those quarterbacks. But come next year's products, I don't think there's going to be a lot of quarterbacks to chase besides the ones that... I rattled off, and even at that point, I mean, is there going to be a lot of value in them? I mean, I don't know. Here's a nice couple. Zach Wilson's right here from Illusions. Very nice. None of them numbered, but that's okay. They're still very, very good-looking cards. And then let's see if I can rattle through these real quick. Wilson, Wilson, Wilson. Here's a Keenan Allen. This was pretty interesting. Nothing crazy, but still numbered out of 399. Can't complain about that. Trey Sermon out of 25. Like, it's just another Zach Wilson. I'll put that with the rest of them. Here's a Stefan Diggs. Just signed a big extension for, you know, out of 50. Mark Andrews, arguably the best tight end this past year. Out of 99. And then another Javante Williams that should go on the bottom of this pile. So that's just one pile of what we got. And let's switch these piles out here. Bring another one in. But, I mean, do you agree with me on the rookie quarterbacks entering the 2022 NFL draft? Like, I just don't see a lot of value in them once those products with those rookie quarterbacks in coming in, you know, August, September, October when those product, the 2022 products release. Here's a nice little Tua. Nothing uh, crazy premier level. LaDainian Tomlinson out of 25. Jarvis Landry out of 6. These are a bunch of stuff that I, this is all stuff I got from the dollar bin, if I'm being honest. Always go dollar bin diving. Out of 20, Charles Woodson, former Heisman winner. Lance Briggs, out of 98, 99 out of 98. Jerry Rice, arguably the best wide receiver of all time, out of 20. 
Dante Culpepper out of 25. Like, this is the stuff that I, I look for. I hunt. Another Stardust. This one's Herbie. Uh, base Kyle Trask. ETN. Very nice card here. He's going to have a big season coming up once he is finally healthy. Tyron Matthew was an iffy one, but I kind of got it as a throw in. It was out of 50. So, I mean, you can't complain with anything numbered like that. Stefan Gilmore, who's still out there. This is numbered out of. 75 i almost said 25 it looked like it at first randy moss arguably the second best wide receiver of all time out of 575 very odd one but still hey it's numbered quitty pay local kid you know here in rhode island people love him people chase him this one's out of 80 very beautiful colors in this one and you have an out of 50 quitty pay against michael pittman who was going to have a tremendous season with matt ryan more than likely this is out of 10 you got Derrick Henry. I know there's a bunch of people that love Derrick Henry. Out of 500, nothing crazy, but still numbered. Out of 53, almost. Look at that. I was so upset when I saw this. Three out of 50, and his jersey number is four. Oh, imagine if it was four out of four. Devontae Smith, Clyde the Glide, Edwards Hilaire out of 99. J.K. Dobbins, hopefully he'll have a bounce back season. After missing a ton of time. I think, did he miss the whole season? I believe he missed the whole season. This is out of 125. Johnny Hecker just signed a nice deal with the Panthers, I believe. Arguably the best punter in the game out of 50. Stardust Kyle Trask. Kyle Trask Origins out of 299. Devontae Smith. Kyle Pitts. Kyle Trask again. Ooh, sticking out a little bit. That's no bueno. Let's get that back in there. There we go. Kyle Pitts, Christian Barmore, press proof out of 75. Look at that silver. Look at the die cuts in this. This looks like a like a security badge, you know. Doop. Like, oh, that looks really nice. Jacoby Myers out of 575. Jacoby Myers again out of 35. You know, grabbing some local guys here. Travis Kelsey, Stardust. Najee Harris, Najee Harris, Najee Harris, Najee Harris, Najee Harris. And then nice clear shot, Saquon Barkley out of 299. Hopefully he'll have a bounce back season, but hey, who knows with him. Out of 20, Evan Ingram. Aaron Donald out of, what is this out of? 100, right there, out of 100. Devontae Smith base, Davis Mills base, Kyle Pitts base, and Kadarius Tony base. So just a couple of nice little base cards there. But again, this is all from Dollar Bins, guys. So definitely go through Dollar Bins. You'll definitely have your patience and your time rewarded if you're going through the right bins and finding the right stuff. Here is another stack. Here is a Jared McCain rookie out of 375. Look at that patch. Look how dirty that patches one two three four colors and then right in there is a little bit more white can't really call it a five color patch but i mean there's five different segments of the jersey on this card absolutely beautiful plus the autograph it's inscribed with his jersey number very beautiful card here's another jared mccain from the cup hockey again it's inscribed with his number this one is out of 99 on card cannot beat it was this one on card too two on card autos so i mean definitely looking to grab a little bit of hockey low key but i'm still fairly new into the market because it is a completely different market and then here's just a bunch of pokemon cards i was able to pick up from rob rob was the guy who pulled the multi-thousand four five thousand dollar trevor zgress card here on trade night in march so i was able to get all these Pokemon cards and those two Jared McCain cards from him. And I know here's a little bit of sports. Let's go into the sports again here. Uh, let's see. We got a Dak Prescott Disco. We got oh, more numbered stuff here. Look at this. Numbered out of 100, Zeke Elliott. Kyle Pitts base up from Absolute. Devontae Smith base. Pat Frymuth base Mosaic. Clear Shot, Zach Wilson. Some base Kellen Mond. I mean, I still like the kid. I think he has a lot of potential once he gets his starting chance, whenever that is. Najee Harris, NFL debut. Jalen Waddle. Jalen Waddle. Jalen Waddle. Guess it. Jalen Waddle. You want more? Here you go. Jalen Waddle. And more and more Jalen Waddle. I mean, 
he is going to turn into what Calvin Ridley was probably two seasons ago, three seasons ago with him and Tyreek Hill, where Calvin Ridley had Julio Jones. The opposing team's number one corner is going to get matched up against Tyreek Hill. Meanwhile, Jalen Waddle is going to be on the second best, which is usually inferior, and he's absolutely going to pop off. Plus, he had a fantastic rookie season to begin with. Here's a Darren. Look at this die cut, Darren Walsh. The cut here, the cut there. It's just an absolutely beautiful die cut card out of 75. I mean, beautiful. It's just beautiful. The look of the card is tremendous. Here's a star status Derrick Henry. Is this number two? Out of 99 as well. So, I mean, a couple of nice numbered Derrick Henry stuff for people. I know they were looking for those. So, that is all the raw stuff here. We do have a couple slabs that I want to show off. Here's a Saquon Barkley Otis Anderson 2018 Illusions. Very nice card here. Not numbered, but still very, very nice card. And then I want to put that up on the bottom because I have two nice cards below this Daniel Jones out of 99, uh, 199, excuse me. Pink Rookie Rising card, 95. I mean, I was able to get these two for 10 bucks from my buddy Rob. Great deal there, not complaining. And I know a lot of YouTubers on YouTube, a lot of these card collectors on YouTube, they don't discuss price with people. Like, I get it. I understand why they don't want to. They just don't want that information out there. But I don't mind giving you that information within reason. Like, I'll be straight up. I didn't pay $35 a piece for these two Jared McCain's. I just said I paid $10 for these two cards together like i don't mind being transparent i think that's very helpful and beneficial for you viewing and watching this video so you can kind of see what deals are out there if you you know expose yourself to being able to make such a good deal you know you're never going to find out unless you ask and i want to be a community cornerstone and a resource for people in the sports card hobby so that's why i'm kind of transparent about it with some things within reason all right, here we go. A nice Darren Waller kaboom from this year's Absolute. PSA 9, absolutely gorgeous card. Cannot complain with it. And if you watched my previous pickup video from the Shriners, which again, you can catch it either right now or you can watch it after this video. Maybe you already watched it. You will have seen the crazy, crazy Randy Moss card that I was able to get. PSA 8 on that one, but hey, that's okay. It's still Randy Moss, still a kaboom, beautiful card. And here's Darren Waller to go with it. But the last and final card that I want to show you on this video is... Ta-da! This is Tom Brady, 2020 Donruss Optic, downtown, PSA 9. Uh, you can see me in the reflection. Hi. Absolute beautiful card. Cannot complain. I got this and all of those dollar cards besides the Pokemon in a nice packaged bundle. And this is absolutely gorgeous. Look at this card. The silvery glow is so beautiful. Oh, it's absolutely, I love this card so much. This was a crazy pickup. So after a customer walked in, let's wrap up this video. And I appreciate you so much for clicking on this video, watching. Please make sure you like the video if you enjoyed it. Please comment down below any thoughts, questions, comments, concerns that you may have about today's pickups or how I may operate card shows in general. I would absolutely love to have that discussion with you down in the comment section below. And while you're down there, please make sure you smash the big red subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate the love and support. But that's going to do it for this one. I've queued up an awesome video right here for you to be able to watch to help you on your sports car journey. And hopefully, I will see you there.